jungle of overgrown weeds and what's been described as monster tree branches. That's what appears in a disabled man's backyard on the southwest side. It's made it impossible for CPS Energy to restore power to his house after last month's storms. As Jesse de Goyala reports, a local business he found came to his rescue. I haven't slept. I pass out. Sitting in his doorway has been the only place where Richard Rodriguez can catch an occasional breeze. He's uh, been living in this heat for like 40 days and it's been 100 degrees outside. It's 110 inside. Rodriguez says the owner of an electric company was his last hope. After recent storms brought down a huge tree, knocking out the power line to his house, shorting out the meter. You can see all the burnt marks and there's a little burnt behind that on the old wood. Luckily the house didn't catch fire. Besides electrical repairs, the company is doing what Rodriguez couldn't, although the diabetic with an amputated leg tried using his walker. I fell a few times dehydrated a few times. Now Davila and his crew have taken over the task, clearing the way for CPS Energy to run a new service line to the house. That's perfect. Oh, it's amazing. I don't see how I would be able to do it without help. We all need help someday, and today Mr. Rodriguez needs help, and maybe tomorrow I will. Not only did the company donate its services, all of the people who were here volunteered to do this. If there were any of my parents or any of uh, my family, I'm pretty sure I would, you know, also would want, you know, somebody to help. There'll always be a reward. It may not be in money, it may not be in uh, gifts, but uh, in your heart, it's a, it's a reward. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.